Permit me to make a special announcement before our introduction. And it's an important, uh, it's an important one. William, William Shakespeare said, if I lose my honor, I lose myself. These I've been very conscious of from my first day of this chamber, and I've guarded my integrity very jealously. When we started the investigation, I had all the confidence to go all the way and ensure we deal with the demon that, are, that has kept the Niger Delta region under develop for the 20 years, negating the reason why the NDDC was created. Hence the reason why I supported and I will always, at every point in time, let it be on record, support the forensic audit ordered by Mr. President. And that is the reason why, even when there was no provision for the forensic in the 2019 NDDC Act, the House, under the leadership of Right Honorable Femi Bajabia Miller, ensured that provision was made for this in line with the anti-corruption agenda of Mr. President. I want to assure, ladies and gentlemen, that today, the 28th day of July, we are still as committed to that agenda as we were months ago. There is no option, the forensic must go on, but nevertheless, the legislative institution must also be allowed to do its job in line with the constitutional provision of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. However, in the course of this investigation, I have to put this very clear, it's been mad with so many series of blackmails, tantrums, and etc. I have deliberately avoided going on air to talk about this issue. Because for me, legislative work are not done on the streets. Legislative work are done on the, in the chambers of the National Assembly. And this is where Today, this legislative work is to be executed. I have said over the last three months, I am a federal lawmaker. I am not a governor, I am not a deputy governor. Neither am I the CNC, nor the vice president. I don't enjoy immunity. I have always said, anybody can come around, throw tantrums at anybody. Anybody can accuse anybody of anything, but there are relevant security agencies over the last three months which I think should have been approached for this. And I'm saying this in front of camera, that we have not condemned anybody. And this is the reason why this investigation was supposed to last for two days. This is the fourth day of the investigation to ensure that there is fair, free and fair hearing everybody defends him or herself. We have not come to any conclusion, neither is there any report has been speculated indicting anybody. After all, you cannot judge a case until you see the merit or the merits of it. We are here to talk about issues that have to do with the development of the Niger Delta Nation. We are here to talk about issues that will determine the future of generations yet unborn. We are here to talk about issues that will lead to economic emancipation of the Niger Delta. We are here to be the voice of the voiceless, and we are here to, be, to provide a supporting hand to the weakest even in our society. Having said this, I want to say it very clearly that issues from day one of this investigation, it's all about issues, issues, and issues, and nothing personal. This investigation is not about me as a person. It's not about anybody in the IMC. It's not about the Honorable Minister of Niger Delta. It's not about anybody. It's about the good of the Niger Delta nation. And I want to believe both the executive and legislative arm, we are partners in progress. After all, the leadership of this institution and the leadership of the, nation and the, leadership of the executive we, bel we share the same manifesto, the All Progressives Congress manifesto. So I believe we are collaborating 
in order to tighten all loose ends and to ensure that we have a better, a more productive Niger Delta region. Having said this, I want to say clearly that any issue against my person, I would please appeal that this should be sent to relevant anti-corruption agencies. And once this is done, if I have a case to answer, I assure you, I will make myself available. I don't enjoy immunity. The public does not need the type of destruction that we are giving it. The, the public needs issues that have to do with the referral from the House. How would that say this? I read in the papers Vanguard precisely of Saturday when the MD CEO of NDDC said maybe I'm on revenge mission. It was on the cover page. I say this clearly, I'm not on the revenge mission. That's on the cover page of Vanguard. Though what happened, I will say very clearly, the, legislat the Legislative Privileges Act 2007 is very clear with regards to sanction, to running into two years imprisonment for some of these things. But we are partners in progress. I'm not on any revenge mission. And as far as I'm concerned, there's, been, there's no personal feud between us as an institution or me as an individual and the Interim Management Committee. At this juncture, because this point has been raised, and in line with my belief that people deserve to be heard and to be heard fairly, having said this, I wish to clearly appeal to my colleagues, though you passed a vote of confidence on me, the leadership passed a vote of confidence on my personality as the chairman of this committee. For the sake for Nigerians to know, I'm not on a mission of vengeance. I wish to humbly appeal to my colleagues to recuse me from presiding over this particular meeting. I hope this will give you, the, this will give all parties opportunity to present their facts in the interest of the people of the Niger Delta. Honorable colleagues, I plead with you. I know it's painful to, it's going to be painful to most of you, but the right thing must be done in the interest of our nation. At this juncture, I want to thank you very much for listening. I want to thank you very much for your understanding. I want to thank you very much for the level of cooperation. And I want to assure the Nigerian people that this particular agenda is for the betterment of our region and for the nation. Nothing personal, and there's never going to be anything personal. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. God bless you.